Hello, my name is Maharai and welcome to the Wall in a Tent project. So, the Wall in a Tent project, this project is all about Nepal. Uh, this is a Nepal map and we talk here about a little bit about its geography. It's a, it's a country in the Southeast Asia that lies between a big giant country China and India. This wall presents the nature wonder of Nepal. As you can see, the Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world, and some of the beautiful cities of Nepal. Also, we have here a beautiful, wonderful wild animals that you can find in Nepal if you ever visit. So why we are interested about Nepal? Because Nepal and UK have a wonderful relationship. We have be, the Nepal and UK has a relationship that is more than 200 years of relationship. As you can see in this wall, in the, the people from Nepal served in the British Army as a Gurkha and this has been going for more than 200 years. Since Nepal and UK has this wonderful relationship of more than 200 years, I think we should talk, we should know a little bit about Nepal. And Nepal has many cultures and many languages. So with so, with so many cultures, this is one of the beautiful cultures that Nepal has. And this picture shows the Kinath Rai culture and this picture is is taken in UK where Sakela Uboli is celebrated during May uh, and this Kranath Rai cultures are the Sakela is celebrated twice in a year one in December and one in May we call it Sakela Uboli in May and Sakela Udoli in December uh, I am Dili Ram Rai and uh, we are here uh, going to talk about uh, the culture in Nepal as you know, we have different culture, different uh, language in Nepal. It's a diverse country. Uh, now I'm going to talk about particularly one culture, uh, which is Sakela. Sakela is a uh, festival as well we celebrate. Uh, we celebrate twice a year, one in a uh, cultivation time and one uh, in a harvest time. So this means we worship for the nature, for the land, uh, that is why we do Sakela. In Sakela, we normally uh, play the drums, we play the instruments, we sing a song and we dance. So we dance in a group. When we dance, we have uh, various uh, patterns we create, such as a natural thing uh, for like animal, birds or human uh, cultivation things. So we can mimic or we can, uh, what you say, copy the accents from them, then we dance in a group. So uh, in Sakela, uh, we play drum, we call it dhol, you can see here. So I'm going to talk about this dhol, then after I'll talk about this jamta, we call this jamta uh, symbols. Okay, now let's talk about uh, this instrument. We used to dance sakela and it is called dhol uh, normally drum we call it dhol and this is made of wood and the skin of animal nowadays it can be made from uh, metal or aluminium as well nowadays in modern days so uh, we need to have we should have this dhol to dance sakela without this dhol we, we can't dance sakela it's normally it's like a, a traditional rule so this doll we need to uh, we need a stick to play or like this or we can use a hand as well so but normally we use this stick to play it so how we play we normally play in a uh, rhythm so like this then uh, we can play symbols as well at the same time then we dance 
Okay, next instrument I am going to talk about is a symbol, we call it Yamta. So, this is made of brass and it's all, uh, we play with the dhol in a rhythm. Uh, hello, I am going to talk about uh, one instrument or a thing. We normally use uh, this uh, to drink water or to drink beer and this is the actually in a traditionally this is the symbol of life and uh, this is uh, to be used from the Rai culture uh, tribes, Rai tribes. So it's not normally it's naturally from plant, natural plant. And next one is you can see here, this is called uh, sarangi, it's uh, like a violin and it's very old traditional musical instrument uh, from Nepal. And you can see here, uh, we call this madal and this is the very famous instrument uh, to compose music when we singing or dancing. So I will show you how we play this. So uh, we can uh, uh, play this uh, various rhythm and uh, a different scale as well. So if you hear, there there are two models and which is different scales. Hello, my name is Lila Mayarai. I'm going to talk about Rai cultural dress today. Uh, I'm going to talk about earring. This skull is Marwari. And then this one is Nogari. Uh, this one is Thaka. And then this one is Kalbala. And then this one is Choli. Uh, this one is Patuki. And then this one is Faria. Thank you. Hello, I am Diliram Rai and I am going to talk about uh, Nepalese traditional costume today which I am wearing for the male. So, this is hat, we call this topi and this is made of, made uh, by hand and it's uh, various patterns we can have. So, you can see I am wearing here and this next, uh, this is called muffler. Uh, normally in Nepalese we also call uh, muffler, so uh, similar to English word. Then uh, waistcoat we call this ista coat. It's a little bit uh, different. Uh, and next one is uh, sword. Normally sword we call this doura on top. And this one trouser we call this uh, suruwal. So 
and and shoes we can use whatever we like there is no particular uh, traditional shoes so i'm wearing normally we use leather one either the what you call uh, any type So first, let's uh, speak about this uh, this dalo. Uh, in Nepali, we call this dalo. Uh, it's made out of bamboo, uh, which is stripped out uh, and then woven like this. It's uh, for storing grains, or like potatoes, or any grain like pulses, rice, anything. Uh, you, and then for stories. And then here we have uh, we call them chindo. We, which is a bottle, uh, which is made from bottle guard, which is hollowed and dried, and we usually use this for uh, storing alcohol, and it's very sacred uh, for ethnic uh, Kirati people. So let me now introduce you to uh, these two bottles. Uh, this, these are called kotuas. Uh, this is this is usually used to carry uh, spirits when we are traveling or storing it in cells. Uh, now uh, let's talk about the food. Uh, these are one of the very popular uh, Nepali food. This is called momo, that's chamre and that's aludon. Let me describe to you about momo. Uh, this is one of the very popular street foods. At every corner, uh, every little shop, you can find this uh, momo uh, shop in Nepal. Um, and this one today is uh, uh, chicken momo. Uh, let me describe to you how it's made. Just briefly, uh, the, the outside is uh, made from white flour, which is rolled and then filled in with uh, any type, any choice of your filling, uh, either chicken, vegetable, or you know, buff, uh, anything. And then usually, and it's steamed. It can also be pan fried, uh, and then we, uh, you, we usually dip it in this. Uh, tomato pickle to go with it so uh, that's how we eat it just going to give you a brief uh, short history about uh, how the you know uh, this momo became so popular in Nepal uh, so uh, Newari people from uh, Nepal uh, they are the merchant uh, groups they went to Tibet and then uh, from Tibet uh, you know they were introduced to this momo and that, that's how they introduced uh, this momo to Nepali people and after that it just became very popular. Uh, so next is called chamre. In Nepali we call it chamre. Uh, in English you'll have to make do with uh, fried uh, rice. Uh, this is uh, also one of the very popular lunch or snack item. Um, and this one is uh, made uh, firstly by soaking the rice for 10 to 15 minutes uh, and then uh, you, in a separate pan you uh, put some oil and then put some this uh, cumin seeds and fenugreek seed and then fry the uh, soaked rice for some time like 10 10 15 minutes and then put some boiling water and cover it uh, and let it steam and then that's and then it becomes ready after like 15 minutes that's uh, chamri. So, so here we have uh, aludom. Uh, so aludom is uh, a potato item. This is also a very popular snack or starter or appetizer for Nepali people. Uh, and how it's made is first we boil the potato, uh, potato, and then uh, in a separate pan we make a gravy out of. Uh, you know, first we need like some sesame, black sesame seed, some on, uh, ginger, garlic, onions, and some tomatoes. We fry them and then make a gravy for 10 to 15 minutes. And when it's uh, ready, uh, then we put the potato, add the seasonings like salt, and and then it's ready. Uh, so this is uh, amkora. This is for storing. Water. It's like a glass actually for us, uh, and this is made up of all the utensils here today is made up of brass, and uh, it is uh, believed that uh, you know eating food or drinking water which is stored in brass actually boosts your immunity. 
So I'm going to show you how we drink from Amphora.